Ever heard someone say it's just the flu? Well, if you've ever had a bad case of the flu, you know it's not something you can just get over. And there's a lot of science that backs this. From respiratory infections to super infections, the flu is serious business. In this video, we will discuss what happens to your body when you get the flu. So what is the flu and how do you catch it? The flu is caused by a virus called the influenza virus. It is spread from person to person primarily through droplets that are released into the air when someone with the flu coughs, sneezes, or talks. If you are nearby, you could catch the virus when these droplets land on your mouth or nose or if you inhale them into your lungs. These droplets can also land on objects and surfaces. So you could also catch the flu if you touch these surfaces and then touch your own mouth, nose, or hands before you wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. People with the flu are most likely to spread the virus to others in the first three or four days after they start feeling sick. However, people with the flu can spread the virus to others beginning one day before they develop any symptoms until about a week after their symptoms develop. This is why it's so important to stay away from other people when you aren't feeling well. So what does it feel like to have the flu? This virus is a respiratory virus that infects your nose, throat, and lungs. So cough, sore throat, and runny nose are common symptoms of the flu. The flu can also cause symptoms in your whole body, like fever, headaches, muscle aches, chills, and fatigue. Some people have mild symptoms, while other people have severe symptoms and need to be hospitalized. People at highest risk of severe infections or complications of the flu include those 65 years or older, those with chronic medical conditions like asthma, diabetes, or heart disease, pregnant women, and young children less than five years of age. Some patients ask me about stomach problems like diarrhea and vomiting. They think this is the stomach flu. Some people who are infected with the flu virus will have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. However, this is less likely if you're an adult and more likely for children. That being said, the flu virus is a respiratory virus and most commonly causes respiratory symptoms or whole body symptoms like fever and body aches. If your most bothersome symptoms are diarrhea and vomiting, you may have caught a different virus, which some people call the stomach flu. So how can you avoid getting the flu? Your best defense against influenza is getting a flu shot. Everyone who is at least six months old should get the flu shot every year with rare exceptions. This is especially important if you're at high risk for severe infections or complications. There are different types of flu shots and some are used only for specific age groups, but all of the flu shots work. Getting the flu shot can prevent you from getting sick in the first place and spreading the flu virus to other people, including your family. It can also prevent serious infections even if you do get sick. In fact, your risk of being hospitalized from the flu goes down substantially when you get vaccinated. In the 2019-2020 flu season, experts estimated that the flu shot prevented over 100,000 hospitalizations in the U.S. It's important to get vaccinated before the flu season, which typically starts in the mid-fall in the Northern Hemisphere. Experts recommend getting vaccinated as soon as the flu vaccines are available in the late summer or early fall, especially if you're at high risk of infections. But it's never too late in the season to get vaccinated. Other ways to avoid getting the flu are to stay a safe distance away from people who you know are sick and hand washing or using hand sanitizer, especially before touching your face, mouth, or eyes. Sometimes patients ask me, can the flu vaccine give me the flu? And the simple answer is no. The flu vaccine cannot cause the flu. However, mild side effects are common, including arm tenderness and redness where the shot is given. If these occur, they last less than one to two days. These common side effects are much less severe than the symptoms from getting the flu. 
So you have the flu and you feel terrible. What can you do besides waiting in agony? The best way to help yourself feel better is to support your immune system. Drink lots of water, eat healthy foods, and get plenty of rest. You could also take over-the-counter pain or fever-reducing medications like ibuprofen and acetaminophen or Tylenol. You can get these without a prescription, but please make sure to read the safety information and ask your doctor if you have any questions. Are there medications that treat the flu? Medications like oseltamivir or Tamiflu directly target the virus. These medications can help you feel better faster by shortening the time you are sick by one to two days. But they're only available with a prescription from your doctor and work best if they're taken early in your illness. They may be especially important if you're at risk for severe infections. So how long until you recover from the flu? Flu symptoms last about a week for most people. As your body starts to fight off the virus, you may be tempted to rush back to your normal activities. However, you can still infect others and slow down your own healing process if you try to make an early comeback. So it's important to rest and follow your doctor's guidance. Take it easy until you've been feeling better for at least a few days. So what are some of the complications of the flu? Some people with the flu can get a bacterial infection on top of their viral infection. These bacterial infections include ear infections, sinus infections, or in severe cases, lung infections called pneumonia. You might have developed one of these bacterial infections if you develop new or worsening symptoms after you've just started feeling better. Other possible complications include inflammation of the heart, brain, or muscle tissue. The flu can also make chronic medical conditions like asthma worse. If you or your family member has severe symptoms of any kind, especially difficulty breathing, confusion, or really high fevers, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Okay, let's recap. The flu means an infection caused by the influenza virus. The flu virus is spread from person to person, primarily through respiratory droplets, produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Many people get the flu every year, and it can be deadly. The most common symptoms of the flu are cough, sore throat, runny nose, and fever. If you think you have the flu, contact your healthcare provider right away. A yearly flu vaccine is your best defense against getting seriously sick with the flu. So as you can see, the flu is serious. So next time someone tells you to just get over it, send them over here to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. If you have further questions, please reach out to your healthcare provider.